When you visit our tasting room in Prescott, one of the first things that you'll see is our first barrel. This was a Maker's Mark bourbon barrel that we used to make Lager Mas de Oro in, and we deconstructed it, put in some screws and wires, and wired it up to the, uh, the railing here behind us. And that's always a, a really special thing for me that I think about every single time I come down here and where, where we started and, and how far we've come in the last nine years. This bar top has a really cool story. It was a tree blown down by a tornado in 2010 west of Flagstaff. And I remember actually driving down the 40 right after that happened where a train was knocked off its tracks and there was this 30 mile swath through the forest. And a local sawmill, actually the last sawmill in our town of Prescott called Santa Fe, harvested the wood as, as salvaged timber, ran it through a giant bandsaw. And we got to know this guy, John, that, that used to own the company. And he sold us this bar top, which is the same wood on our bottle shelf. It's three inch thick, Arizona Ponderosa wood. It's a noble building material. And when you come into our tasting room, we have board form concrete from 1901. We've got Arizona Ponderosa wood that was harvested from the Wallow Fire, which was the largest wildfire in Arizona's history. I spent two weeks on that fire as a wildland firefighter. And I just think that this is one of the most beautiful bar tops I've ever seen, and this is my favorite knot in the whole thing. Our merchandise bottle shelf here in Superstition Prescott is made out of the same wood as our bar top. It happens to be two inch thick Arizona Ponderosa versus the three inch planks that we made our bar top out of. But I built this with my son before we ever opened and taught him for the first time how to countersink a hole when you're applying a lag bolt into wood and this has stood the test of time here and it is one of the most solid things that I've ever built. This room is the site of our former production facility before we moved out to the Prescott Air Park and we at one time had fermenters and barrels stacked to the ceiling. We made 6,800 gallons of mead and cider here in 2016. And I'm standing on this red oak square, which when you come in here, you'd have no idea why there's a random wooden square in the room. This was a six by six drain. And my wife used a jackhammer to get through this concrete. And I actually got to touch back on some of my archeology span skills because in 1900, Prescott burned to the ground eight blocks downtown, and we found bits of charred brick and wood and old nails in here because they just kind of demoed everything and then built back up th from the cellar here. So this building dates to 1901, and we had to create something that never existed here before, which was a production winery making mead and cider. We had to dig all the way through where this wall is now and, and set, set a pump down because we're below grade. When you come into our tasting room, you're in an underground bar and you can hear people's footsteps walking above you. When you go back in our office, you can hear people walking across the sidewalk above your head. There is, I can hear the creaks right now. There's nothing like this that I've ever been to in Arizona. It's this beautiful, cozy environment. We don't have any TV screens. We've got candles on all the tables to bring this sense of Higa, this Danish concept of coziness into what we do here at Superstition. It's warm, there's beautiful acoustics when we have live music, and when people come here, because there's no screens to distract you, we notice that People aren't staring at their phones or working on their laptops. They're having conversations like 30 years ago. It's a really beautiful place. It's kind of like a throwback experience. And that's why we were named the best brewer's tap room in the country just this year. Another thing I really love and I'm really proud of is we've made a lot of friends and relationships in this industry because no one is successful on their own. And that's represented by all of these signatures on this beam. And we have this hashtag sign the beam even on social media. And we have friends that have visited us from breweries and meaderies from Norway and Belgium and Flagstaff and San Diego and New Mexico, all over the world. And we have filled this beam and this post all the way down to the end of our bar, we have about 80 feet of signatures and logos that our friends have, have drawn all over this beautiful wood. 
So this is just a, I even got to sign it because I was part of a project in Brazil. So that was kind of cool as well. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. And it's something that we're really proud of in our tasting room here in Prescott.